Is it time for a new D-loop, all worn out? Let me show you how to change it. Welcome back to Knocked Up Outdoors how-to series, complete bow setup. So in the previous video, we learned how to tune our cams to make sure that we are gonna be shooting perfectly. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to tie knock points and a D-loop right in the middle of your string to make sure that you get accuracy every time. If you guys are enjoying this series and enjoying this video and it helped you, make sure you ring that bell and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And let me know if you got any questions. So for this video, a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a tape measure, preferably a soft one. It's just easier to use. Sharpie, serving string of your choice color, D-loop color of your choice, utility knife, a lighter, and a pair of Easton pliers. It doesn't necessarily have to be Easton, I don't guess, but they have this cool little tool here to stretch out the D-loop at the end that is super handy. And the last thing you're going to need is an arrow. You can find a complete list to all of the materials that you will need and the tools needed to complete this step in the description below as everything listed out for you. That way you can start building your own shop at the house. The purpose of the D loop is to have an anchor point that is consistent when you are pulling your string back, right? So the best way in order to find your D loop location is to measure the exact middle in between both cams. Think about it this way. We just tuned our cams in order to rotate at the exact same time to hit the string stop at the same time. Well, that still only happens if our D-loop is in the exact middle of this string. So we wanna be pulling the middle of this string to make a perfect triangle every single time. This step is a little bit easier if you already had a D-loop on and you know where your anchor point is. So that way all you have to do is tie a new one. But in this, I'm gonna show you how to find your, your uh, D-loop location and then we'll go into tying the uh, knock points in the D-loop itself. So first thing you're going to want to do, take your soft sided um, tape measure and there's going to be axle bolts on either side of your, uh, of your bow right in the middle of the end of the limbs, right? So take it all the way out to whatever it is, stretch it tight and taut and we are sitting right at 29 inches. So a perfect 29 inches. All right, you can also use millimeters if you're into that. I know that my bow needs to be, or the center knocking point of my arrow needs to be half of 29 inches, so 14 and a half inches from this axle up to here and from this axle to here is where this needs to clip into. So in order to find that, I've got a handy little right level tool. Um, this is a necessity and it's not even really recommend it if you will uh, it's just one of those things that makes it easy you can use your arrow as well so what i'm going to do here is stretch this out across my right angle that i have and just scoot this until i get a perfect right at 14. so you're done with your tape measure for now and now this right angle from my string is sitting exactly at 14 inches right here on the zero. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Sharpie and right where that zero is, I'm going to make a mark on my serving. That point that I just marked is the exact center of my string that I need to make sure that my arrow sits exactly on top of that Sharpie mark when I tie my knock points. So now I can take this off. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is clip our arrow on and we will hang it exactly <clears throat> on that Sharpie mark for the middle and um, we will tie our knock points. So let me get you in for a closer look at that. It's hard to tell because it's black on black, but our Sharpie mark is right there. Clip in an arrow right over the exact center of our Sharpie mark. Just tear yourself off some uh, serving string. I don't know, we'll call it maybe a foot or so. Better to have more than, uh, than uh, not enough. What I like to do right off the rip is I like to just go ahead and burn the end 
just, uh, just so it doesn't fray on me. So we now know that this arrow is sitting exactly where it needs to set, middle of our string, is we're gonna come underneath the string and just tie a regular knot, but we're actually gonna loop it through twice, okay? And we're gonna cinch that down right next to that knock. Put it up right next to it. Not so tight that you're gonna move over the knock, but right up next to it so that way you know where the exact middle of your knocking point is. First one's always kind of tricky because it's not quite tight yet. Next one, since we started on top, we're gonna move to the bottom and just tie a regular um, overhand. And we're gonna to come to the outside of the string we already tied. Again, do that once again on the outside of the string we already tied. Make sure you're pulling tight through. Again on the bottom. Pulling tight. Three times on top. And once you're three times on top, let's tie a second knot and sink that string in between the second and the third points. You're going to tie a knot, get it real tight, and that way, you move this out of the way for now, that way you know that's not going anywhere, right? So you are good to go in that regards. Move our arrow out of the way real quick so we can still see our Sharpie mark. We're going to cut away from the string. I'm going to leave just a little tag end. Cut that off. Same thing here. Cut that off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold our flame up and burn these down. Push them into the string. Burn my finger there a little bit. That way they melt all together. So now you have your top knock point and tied. We are just going to repeat on the other side and we are going to burn these two down. Burn them and melt them right into itself. There you have it. You got knock points right there, so your arrow goes in the same exact place every time. And you want a little bit of space. I can move this around just a titch, right? So that way when I'm at full draw, I don't get any knock pinch. So, all right, so we are done with our uh, serving string for now and going to hop right into the D-loop material. So again, same kind of ordeal. Cut you off, you know, somewhere in the eight to 10 inches range. All right. So in order to tie this D loop, what we're gonna do is make this U shape right here on the top side of our knock, knock point we just created. Then what we're gonna do is fold this over the string and then pull both of these ends through that loop, creating the first side or of our D loop. Tie this super tight. Get it as tight as we can. And then we're gonna take this and we are going to cut off the excess that we don't need. Cutting this string, D-loop string, and fraying the end out here, right up to the point we need. And then we're gonna burn this
And there, we have one side of our D-loop made. Next step is, this is coming on the back side of the string. We're gonna take this on the front side of the string here, and then come back around the back side, and then up close to our knocking point, just like this. Okay, and at this point, we're gonna cinch it down. Somewhere, I mean, depending on how you like it, if you're redoing this, just because you need to do knock points or something, half inch, three quarters of an inch, something right there. My advice is to always go smaller than what you need because when you stretch it out and tighten it at the end, it's gonna grow just a titch. So I like to start mine off about a half inch. You take this over the top and then back through, just like that, to create the other end of your D-loop. Again, pulling super tight, Working it back and forth. Now that we're good to go, we are going to flare it out just like the other side. Creating a nice little ball. You have your D-loop tied. The last and final step is to take your pair of pliers. And on these Easton Archery pliers here, they have this, the regular pliers, and they have these stretchers here where when you pull together like a normal set of pliers actually pull stuff apart. So pull it in here and you stretch this out super tight to where it's done. All right, there you have it. Got our knock points installed and our D-loop tied. We are ready to rock and roll. Now you can have confidence that you know your D-loop and knock point are in the center of your strings and that way we tied a strong D-loop. Hopefully you guys learned something. Make sure to come back for the next video where I'll teach you guys how to install drop away rest now that our uh, D-loop is tied. If you guys have any questions, make sure you hit me up in the comments. And uh, as always, stay knocked up.